Hello, thanks for watching this. This is Rodrigo here, and I'm just going to go do a short video uh, talking about how to read tab notation. Right, so the tab notation is like playing by numbers. It's a very simple way of, of writing down music. I, I've got uh, beginner's lessons, and uh, the technical exercises are quite simple, but it's important that people are able to, to look at notes on, on the screen or on a piece of paper and, and be able to follow and, and know what to do with their guitars. So there is standard notation, which looks like this, and it can be a little bit intimidating. I mean, it's, it's perfect. It's great. All sorts of instrument players will be able to read that. It's a wonderful way of writing and communicating with music to people, but it can be a bit scary if you're a beginner. So I'm going to be using something called tab notation, which looks like um, this. And uh, whoa, minus two, what's that doing there? Let me fix that. That was a mistake. Anyway, so uh, if you look at the bottom line here, you see lines and numbers. And uh, unlike the top one, which has got five lines, this one's got six lines. And each one of those lines is one of the strings on your guitar. So let me take away the uh, standard notation. I'm just gonna leave the tab there and, and, and talk about how it works, right? So what we've got is um, lines for strings and numbers for frets. That is what you must remember. Lines are strings. Actually, I'm gonna even write this down. Say lines equals strings and numbers. Are frets. Frets are these metal lines on the guitar which give me positions where I'm gonna play my fingers. But let's start with the lines, okay? So the, the only confusing thing about this is the fact that top is up and you know down is up and up is down. What I'm trying to say is that the uh, string that is written on the bottom line is this thick low string which provides us a, with a low sound but it's further from the ground it's, it's higher up physically speaking but what matters is the note that comes out of it so if i compare this string and that string this is the high one this is the low one and that's why they are written high and low so let me if i go for very basic exercise just just open strings i'm gonna play each of the strings twice and climb up through the neck like that not through the neck but through the strings so what i'm gonna be playing if you look at something like like the blue highlighted area over there it'd be this two times on the thick string two times on the next one and just going So the thing about this is that we don't know if we're playing A's or B's or G's or F's. We just play by number. You just hit the string that is equivalent to the line, hit it, and trust that it will work. It's beautiful, it's easy, and it's simple, but it's not as complete as, you know, talking about what, what the notes are called and things like that. But anyway, these are the strings. I'm just going to go for some random strings here to demonstrate. So what about this one here? Well, that's the low thick string right there, right? What if we had a note uh, here and then another one there and another one there, right? Let's try and play this blue highlighted blah bar over there. So this is the first note, big, thick, low string. Then I'm going to the third highest string, the G string, if you know their names. This is going to be the A string, second thickest one. And I'm finishing it off with the B string, which is the second highest one. So if I do that to a beat, let's give it a click. And I'll count to four. A one, two, three, four. Yep, not very musical. I'm not attempting uh, to, to be, you know, to, to create pretty music here. The idea is just to demonstrate how those lines and, and, and numbers system work. Now, what about frets? Uh, no, numbers are frets. Okay, let's, let's go to the high string here and do something like that. One, two, three, four, just to keep it simple. So what I'm doing is, okay, which line are these numbers sitting on? Well, the first line from the top, the thin string, the high pitch string, the E string, the high E string. That's the one we are playing here. 
But I've got number one. What does that number one mean? Uh, does it mean I play once? That's a common question I get. Oh, I must play it once. And when I see that four there, I hit it four times. No, that's not what it means. It's not how many times you play the notes. It's where your finger is going to go. In which finger, on, on which fret you're supposed to uh, place your finger. Now, frets are these metal lines across the neck. So one means that my finger is going to go right next to the first metal line, squeeze that string, and then I pick it. So that's that note over there. It's an F, by the way, but you don't need to know that. Just put your finger on the first fret of the E string and play it, playing it by numbers. What about this number two here? Well, next. What about this number three here? Well, next string, next, and the same string, next fret, etc. Right? I'm using a different finger for each one. You might want to do that, which is not great for your technique, but right now I'm just talking about reading, so I'm not going to be very picky about this, but in an ideal world, try not to repeat the same finger all over, try to use different fingers. Now let's try and turn this into a more, you know, interesting, more, more, more melodical sort of thing. Let's do a very basic uh, melody. Uh, check this out. I'll write something that everybody knows, some, some nursery rhyme kind of thing. Yeah, what about this? Oops. Oh, my bad. Let me get my face out of the way so you can see the notes I'm writing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and squeeze everything on the same line like this. These are supposed to be that. And there we go. Yep, that's it. Right? Look at this. How do I play this initial bar? I'm zooming in a little bit so we can see clearly. Right? I'm playing the G string. <laughs> third thinnest string yeah the third one from the top two times i'm gonna go to the next string which is the b string second thinnest string playing on the third fret top string and back to the b string on the third fret by now you must have recognized this i'm playing twinkle twinkle little star now you try and do the next two bars and see if that works. Uh, yep, see for yourself if you can do that. If it sounds like how I wonder what you are. It's because you're doing the right thing. First fret of the B string two times, open B string two times, two times on the second fret of the G string, open G string. So now let's have a crack at the whole thing uh, with a beat. Now, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that might have been a bit too fast for beginners, but it doesn't matter. It's not about playing fast. It's not about technique. This uh, whole explanation slash lesson is, is, is about being able to read tab, understanding the lines and number system so that when we are in the lessons, you know what I'm writing on the screen or what I'm talking about. Thank you very much for watching this. Feel free to contact me if you've got any questions or issues or if there's anything that you didn't really understand, you know where to find me. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and keep practicing.